Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles as they match up with Ryan Fitzpatrick and the Miami Dolphins. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, we are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. The excitement brewing here in South Florida as a moment ago the Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match up with Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles. Hi, everyone. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they interplay in this one. It's late in the year. We all know it. We've seen the calendar for these guys. Their bodies could probably use a break, but they have to push on. And they're really not as worried about that as maybe we think. They know they've got the entire offseason to rest. All they care about is the game in front of them and finishing strong. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, things haven't gone exactly according to plan to this point. But boy, you and I down there with them before the game, they were fired up. And they understand how important this game is. Win this one, they can start to think about a turnaround. The calendar has turned to December, and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in week 13. This will be fielded at the 8. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They will be led out by the second overall pick back in 2016. Hard to believe he's already in his fourth season, Carson Wentz. And while he won't admit it because his team lost the game, he had some fun in the last one. <laughs> he I threw mean, for over 400 yards. I mean, there's no getting around it. As a QB, yeah, okay. We lost the game, but boy, that felt good flinging it around. Now he's got to figure out how to do the exact same thing, yet turn it into a win. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. On first, they go right back to Howard. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. The numbers for Howard a week ago, 17 carries, 75 yards. Are we playing old school football now? We've got a top 10 rusher in the league. He's sitting at number 10, but he has a chance to move up with a big time game. So expect that offensive line. Every time they go to the bench and tell the offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. They'll try to run for it with Howard. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, look now at our starting defense. They enter play here 24th in the league against the run. And stopping the run, that's been an issue for them all season long. Aren't you glad that you're not coaching the defense right now? <laughs> I'm very glad. They said that they've seen it in doses, but very, very small doses. Yeah, you've got to be consistent. It's down in and down out, being able to play it, understand what you have to get done, and finally stop some people, put them on the ground. The throw by Wentz, caught by Jackson. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 22-yard line. On first down, they run with Howard. 
And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. 10 yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. This is Howard on second down. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Give the sack to Jerome Baker. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Wentz going to throw. They'll set up the screen to Howard. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jordan Howard, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Eagles drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. You'd have to imagine for a team that's lost three straight games, scoring first in this first quarter has to feel pretty good. It has to feel great for them. And also, it's a nice signal to the rest of the team because we talk about complimentary football all the time. So they've now signaled to the defense, now signaled to the kicking game, hey, we're here to play in this one. We're going to do our part. Let's see if you guys will do the exact same and we can break this losing streak. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7 zip. Makes the score Eagles 7. So that one, a long 11-play drive. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Dolphins now under first-time head coach Brian Flores. They'll be led by their veteran quarterback. He's been in the league for a while since 2005, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Running, it's Drake. Now Drake loses the football. It is picked up by the Eagles. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around, and we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Here we go, here we go. Check, check, 59. You, 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 you. On first down, it's Howard, and he'll take this forward for two, maybe three. But we do have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. It's a gain of seven on the ground. Second down coming up. On second and 12, Wentz and complete to Zach Ertz. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 17-yard line. 
A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Throwing his wins. Hard throw incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? You made him kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punch in the end zone without turning it over. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Trying to get it that time is Stills. And it's third and four. A look now at the Miami offense. I remember when Laramie Tunsil was coming out of Mississippi and I was evaluating him for the draft in 2016. Ended up writing down a description that I tended to like, and I'm going to use it here now. He's got feet like a receiver. He's got a body like an offensive lineman and hands like a boxer. Put it all together, you got a heck of an offensive lineman. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 42. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. On second down, it's Drake. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Well, look now at our starting defense. They're just below the cut line for top half of the league. 17th in the NFL against the run. And the focus now is making sure that they're hitting on all cylinders as they head into the playoffs. And that means they've got to stop the run better. Because playoff football often means running football. So they've got to be prepared for that. On third down, Fitzpatrick. And he can't quite intercept it. Zone coverage, free safety was there. Couldn't come up with it, and now it's fourth down. Yeah, good game catch the ball in the backfield a week ago, and they're going to try and involve him in that way in this game as well. But you can tell scouting has taken over. They're making it a little bit more difficult. Yeah, defensively, they told us, hey, we've got to take him out of the passing game, limit it to just short runs, because he can really impact this offense. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at the 20. They'll begin the drive with Howard. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Nelson Aguilar, the intended receiver. But now it'll be third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw, it's Wentz. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. 
And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. 62 yards on the punt that time. Wow. And it'll be Dolphin football. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And things haven't started so well for this side. Two drives, two punts. So now you've got to start looking not just at play calling, but which guy's going to step forward and say, okay, let's get this thing done. Because within that unit of 11, sometimes one guy can make a big time play and break through the barrier. On second down, it's Drake. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Now, Kenyon Drake, he was kind of underutilized last year when Adam Gase was head coach, only seven starts. But now he's going to get a chance under new head coach Brian Flores to really showcase his talent. He certainly flashed his diverse playmaking abilities a season ago. Nine touchdowns, five through the air, and four on the ground. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Now Fitzpatrick. Looking sideline, incomplete. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Working out of the gun, Fitzpatrick. Fighting his safety valve here, that's complete. Give him two yards on that play, and that's gonna bring up a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. It'll be a 48-yard punt. Five there on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Now wins. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by T.J. McDonald. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. On first down, Drake, and he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. On second down now, it's Drake. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. The Dolphins on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. To throw, Fitzpatrick. And Wilson has it. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one goes for 30 yards for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Running from the shotgun with Drake. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. On second and seven, Fitzpatrick. Now Fitzpatrick hit. It's out. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. 
I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards that time. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. On the delay, it's Howard. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Four yards on second down it's Howard two yards the game there and now they're left with a third and about four for a first the Eagles on third down they've hit two for four thus far this is third and four from the gun it's wins that's complete it's Corey Clement and he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35 it's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Wentz now on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and this is picked up by the Dolphins. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. Don't forget, later tonight, Sunday night football, we've got the Pats and the Texans from NRG Stadium in Houston. And then tomorrow night, Monday night football, it's supposed to be really cold up in Seattle as we've got the Vikings and the Seahawks from CenturyLink Field at 8.15 Eastern. Tackle made there by Zach Brown. On second and nine, Fitzpatrick and Dwayne Allen on the grab. The reception good for seven. It's third down. It's complete. Stills. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be fourth down. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a loss yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time, the fumble, the turnover. Now they still have the lead, but I don't think coaches care. The turnovers will bother them no matter what the scoreboard says. Yeah, that's the relief that you still have the lead. But coaches look at what if and what it should be. Turning the ball over when they get a chance to score more points and increase the lead. That's what's going to affect them. And they're also thinking to future weeks, maybe when the game's closer, right? No doubt about it. You want to clean up everything. Holding Let's offense. just be honest about it. They want everything to be perfect at all times. They don't want to give up anything that's going to hurt their team. They'll wind up losing a full 10 yards on the play. And it'll make this a second and long. They go back to the ground, this time Clement. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. On third and long, it's Wentz. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 
Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. On second down now, it's Drake. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Here's Fitzpatrick, and that is incomplete. Intended for Mike Gusecki. Incomplete. And that's a crusher right there. Had his man Jason open for a first down, threw a fastball when that wasn't necessary. Incomplete pass. One of these quarterbacks going to learn. You don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. They go with Howard to begin the drive. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. A gain of four. Wentz now to throw. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Bobby McCain here, the one who brings him down. Bobby McCain on the tackle. A two. Brings up second and From the 36, Wentz. And his throw is incomplete. The Pro Bowl tight end, Zach Ertz, the intended target. And it's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To throw is Wentz. There goes a deep ball, in zone, and that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Certainly appeared like they had a great chance of that turning into a touchdown, but maybe let him just a bit too much. Yeah, out of the back of the end zone, and that's tough on a five-yard pass, but one of that distance, that can be tough to gauge when you're in the back of the end zone. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three. And this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And uh, it's a big kick, but now we just, if they leave it short, you're like, whoa, what happened? And that's that's what we have here. Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range, and you're exactly right. When it comes up short, there has to be something that went wrong because they have plenty of leg. 18 big yards on that one and a Miami first that's something we didn't see much of from Allen the last couple of years in New England heck last season and down he goes Fitzpatrick sacked Brandon Graham he's the culprit and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues well they go play fake the problem is nobody was faked out <laughs> and when no one's faked out what's the end result sack. quarterback gets hit <laughs> And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. They'll run with Drake. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Third and long for Ryan Fitzpatrick. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. In the back. Offense. 
so they decline it as that will bring up four. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played, but you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties, and they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Carson Wentz and the Eagles make their way out to the field. He's got the lead here in the second quarter. He's thrown the touchdown, but also an interception. As a quarterback, does that interception, even though you're playing while your team's got the lead, does that always stick in the back of your mind a little bit? For the best ones, it just upsets them that they did that because they don't think there should be any blemishes on their record. They think that they're way better than that. So your confidence gets tested a little bit. Being able to go back out there, maybe throw another touchdown, that'll tamp that down in a big way. Yeah, because He's looked pretty good to this point. Now this one complete on the slant route. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. Wentz now 8 of 15 through the air, but it's first and 10 here. Wentz on target there to Jeffrey. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Check, check, 47. Three bucks, three bucks, three bucks. On first down, Wentz. It's caught by Aguilar. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Again, it's Wins. And it's caught. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Zach Ertz, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. Elliott good with a PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. A drive that time of six plays. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lift your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But it's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. 50 catches for him now on the year. He's got a first down. This quarterback now 8 of 15 through the air, but it's first and 10 here. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To the air again, Fitzpatrick. And a completion to Wilson. 
And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. First down, Fitzpatrick. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Here's Fitzpatrick. He completes it to Wilson. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. On the left hash mark, this is a 38-yard attempt. Sanders' kick is good, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in this last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. We're starting to get near the home stretch of this NFL season. It we now proceed to the start of the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. One play has them up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now Drake. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. From the 44, Fitzpatrick. Allen's got it complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. A Miami first down on a 14-yard pickup. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. The corner, Ronald Darby, comes up to get him. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. Encroachment, defense. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. They stay on the ground with Drake, and he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So now then, the penalty's got them set up with a first and goal. On the delay, it's Balage, And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. At the seven-yard line. They'll try to throw here, Fitzpatrick. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Paul Warlow. He's at the 50. He's at the 30, 20, 
10, and he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down, so let's see what this is about. How big is that penalty? Wipe out the INT. You'd hate to be the teammate that caused that penalty and wiped out the interception. you got to face that guy in the locker. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Kenyon Drake, his third touchdown now on the year as his guys have cut the lead down to two. And that touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word, of three field goals that they put on the board previously. They finally cracked the code. Yeah, they've been down there. They've been in enemy territory, as you said. They just hadn't been able to punch it in until that point. From the gun, Fitzpatrick. And he hits Drake. And this play is not going to work. He's out of bounds, well shy of the goal line, and the try for two, unsuccessful. They made the decision to go for two. They didn't get it. They remained down by two points. Should they have kicked it there? A third quarter, I'm okay with it. Maybe first or second, you don't. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm. I'm again, I keep coming back to... I don't like to chase a lot of points, but I also don't know what kicking an extra point being down one does for me. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. From the gun on third down, Wentz. And this is caught by Jackson. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. On second down, it's Howard, and they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Wentz going to try and throw on third. Aguilar has it. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. They get Lane Johnson, the number four pick back in 2013. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Now wins. And down he goes. They bring down Wentz on the sack. The big take, take Carradine with a sack. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every route that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Here we go. Tight right, tight right. Hey, four down. A first down throw for Fitzpatrick. It's complete to Drake. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. So that one will be accepted. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. On the give, this is Drake. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. Balazs. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Third and short yardage, Fitzpatrick. And that is incomplete. Fitzpatrick's pass. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us, 
as they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they like some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. It's a gain of 16 and an Eagle first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, it's Wins. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing First call. Foul, roughing the passer, defense. I think you'd agree that looked like the right call from up here. No doubt about it. What everyone has to understand is that the officials are going to be right on the play each and every time. You may not like the call, but they're usually spot on. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him, and he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. They go with Howard again. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Now Wentz on third down. Completes it to Aguilar. And they'll get this down to the 10. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. And he finds Howard complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Only a yard on the completion. It's second and goal. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Here's second and goal operating from the eight-yard line. Wentz now to throw. Looking left sideline, incomplete. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time. But now it's third and goal. Wentz now on third and goal. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. And Elliott puts this one through, and that will push the lead up to five. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Right back to Drake. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. 
And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. A little juke. Oh, and he's taken down here by his face mask by the looks of it. And a penalty flag is going to give a much better starting defense. position. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. That's the end of the third quarter. With the so we'll get the penalty all sorted out when we get back. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So the face mask gets him a free 15 to start the drive. Now a play fake. Wentz. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing is Wentz. They'll set up the screen to Howard. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They'll wind up with seven on the dump off, but it'll set up third down. The Eagles on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This time it's third and three. Shotgun now for Wentz. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. 70th catch for him on the year. And like so many others, this goes for a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. They'll run on first down. Howard. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Tackle that time by Jerome Baker out of Ohio State. Again, it's Howard. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 40-yard line. Wentz looking to throw on third and two. It's caught by Aguilar. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. A quick pass out to Aguilar. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. The loss of a full three yards. And now it's second down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to... Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Kiko Alonso, the former Eagle. Coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Winston company with some work to do after the sack. Now Wentz gets this to his running back, Jordan Howard. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This from 54 yards away. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And this was still going to be a one-score game either way, but still, that's a potentially harmful miss here in the fourth. It certainly is, because if you consider that now if they give up a touchdown, they give up the lead. So he might be getting the side eye by the defenders coming out on the field now as he goes back to the bench after that miss. Fitzpatrick to throw it. And Stills bringing it in. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Call that a very strong gain of 24. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Fitzpatrick. He dumps it off to Drake. Give him nine on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now Fitzpatrick. 
This one into the hands of the running back, Balazs. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now a draw play with Drake. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Brandon, that play certainly felt like what I call a tendency breaker. First and 10, they dial up a draw play. That's not a normal situation, but give credit to the defense. They weren't fooled at all and really finished off the play. And he'll get this down only to the 18. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. The Dolphins on third down, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and nine. Off the play fake here, Fitzpatrick. This is caught, and he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. Here's a run with Balaj. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. They've been stuffed twice here for losses. Now it's third and goal. I'm going to come back to you. They'll stay on the ground. Balazs again. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And just as they thought they might be able to take that across and get the lead, a big red zone turnover. I know that I am defense-centric, and I want to give them a whole lot of credit, but I just can't believe after that drive, in that position, ball security paramount, they turn the ball over. Terrible. Zach Ertz and the rest of the Eagles offense set to take over. And this is how the game has trended for him numbers-wise. He's really picked it up. And So they need to determine if that knee was down before the ball was coughed up. And they also wanted to make sure that the ball was possessed as they were going through and that the ball wasn't working its way free before the knee hit the ground. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Fitzpatrick to throw for it on fourth down. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. And yes, they the want the points, so they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over with the penalty? I don't even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. They'll try and run with Drake. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. Well, that decision to me was all about pulling up the chart. You know, that, that beautiful chart that tells you when to go for two, when to go for chart. one. I do love it. It helps you with your decision making during heated times. And just look at it right here in this part point of the game. Go for two. Try to make it a field goal difference. But now just up one makes the rest of this fourth quarter a little more interesting. Yeah, they followed the chart. They just didn't get the two points on the board, did they? Nope. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 23 yards on the play. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Working from the gun, Wentz. And he rifles one incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time, but it'll be second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. 
Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148 yard line and ended at the other. Now Wentz again. A bullet throw, but incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw at any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. And remember the four-minute offense. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. His tight end, Dwayne Allen, the intended receiver. Third down here. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. To throw is Fitzpatrick. And that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Wentz going to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I don't know. He had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. Well, the mental focus. Yeah, the that's thing. true. Got to stay with it. That's true. Twelve yards on the return that time. And possession will switch. Hands first and ten. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Fletcher Cox, he continues to wreak havoc in the offensive backfield. Sack number 16 on the year. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number, and we can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On second down now. It's Drake. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now Fitzpatrick. Now Fitzpatrick hit. It's out. He lost the football, and the Eagles have recovered. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. So now Wentz and the Eagles down 21-20. A minute 47 on the clock. The late fumble gives him unexpected new life as they come up first down. Here we go, here we go. 
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Howard. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Clock running, about to hit 90 seconds to go in the game. He's back to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. And seven yards to go. He'll look to throw. And this is caught by Jackson. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. On first down. It's Howard. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Howard. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They run with Howard. And Howard stops short. He didn't get there. Have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And the kick by Elliott is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for the Eagles, the win gets them back to 500 at 6-6 six and six on the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, this season is beyond salvage now as they fall to 2-10. And, and they'll try and turn things around next week as they have a date at MetLife Stadium with the New York Jets.